Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, after 13 minutes, this draft has fired. I kind of like Factor Fiction. I like Frostwalla. I think Factor Fiction is probably the most broken card in the pack, right? <clears throat> the Dominary Click queues are even slower. And I imagine the Legacy Cube queues are even slower. Like It's like they have three formats up right now that are all extremely slow. And it's funny because if you had the Legacy Cube Swiss, or uh, single, uh, Swiss, it would just fire. So... Can sneaky so God, Runa Cape, you are always you are always hopping in. Unfortunately, we're like way apart here though. So this this pack is interesting. We have a Pyrophobia, we have a Winter's Rest, we have an Iceberg Can Cricks. Are you guys a Can Cricks or a Can't Cricks? A normal lost phone. These Tim, these are really interesting suggestions that I'm really enjoying. I'm tempted to just take Cancrix and just be like, can we just let's be mill. Let's mill them out again. I'm totally gonna mill them out. We're totally milling here. Hair. Well, I'm milling it. Oh, prismatic vista. I got excited and then I realized it's a phantom. Well, there are no <laughs> not not a single snow card in this pack. Oh boy, we'll just take fairy seer. That's weird. Or Scale Guardian's real good. But, like, if you're blue, you're not really going to have that many lands in the Grave Yardos. Defile, maybe? I mean, ideally, you want to be blue-green if you're milling. This pack's actually pretty tough. I'm gonna take the fairy. Uh, it's the only blue card here. Wow, we just got past Prismatic Vista and Force of Negation. Welcome to things that would not happen in real life. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna abandon this for now. Tim, I can I can totally understand why that would be a reservation, like having to read through a lot of mails and chats on the phone, but like. I think the idea itself is really, really great. That's a really innovative idea. If you know of any great point-and-click like puzzle adventures like Maniac Mansion uh, for like the NES, definitely let me know. I'm a big puzzle game fan. I'm a fan of like walking around and going through houses and being like, oh, I gotta click on this. I'm gonna use the key in the door. I don't know. It's like they they have to have like a specific feel to them for me to like really. I actually didn't play Grim Fandango because I didn't like the environment. I'm really picky when it comes to games. It's really weird. Venomous Changeling is good. <sighs> yeah, we'll just take Venomous Changeling. There's no good blue cards here, so whatever. Like when I play a when I play a game, I want a real specific feel to it. Deja Vu. That sounds really familiar. I feel like I should know what that is. Wow. And then, like, literal nothing for us. This is crazy. Scavenger is good. I mean, like, there's a ton of really good white and... Like, this is these are all playable white and green cards, which is kind of comical. I mean, I think Rocks Veteran might be the best one here. I'm going to take the Rocks Veteran and see what happens. Frostwalla? This is a really weird draft so far. Take Snow Covered Island. I want to take the Frostwalla. No. Don't do it. Just take this idiot. Yeah, Snow Covered Island, sure. Alright. Feel good about that. Chiller Pillar. Okay. Snow Covered Plains. All right, let's see if we're, we're blue-white here. Put the Cancrix back. Because now we got Chiller Pillar 2 Snowlands. Seems good. Now I feel like we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Is, oh, is the 11th hour the sequel to the 7th guest? 
Because when I was a kid, I used to play the sh I played the shit out of some Seventh Guest. That game blew my mind. Oh wow, he just picked up a bunch of lands. All right, see now we're talking. Yeah, I'll take the one card that we can play. I imagine the video is pretty rough on modern resolutions. Yeah, I imagine the seventh guest is also a real nightmare on modern resolutions. Monsoncer, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, you gotta play windowed, and it's gonna be like this big. You're like, oh, that's really small. Alright. Alright, I'm okay with what happened here. This card's actually not terrible. It's just a trick, right? And then... I play on a 4K screen, the res is like 480. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. What do we got here? What do we got here? I like these guys. I like this guy. I think we're gonna go with this guy. Reprobation also okay. I think we just have, we have three, four drops already. I kind of rather have the changeling. There's a Japanese PlayStation game that I played as a kid that was roughly translated as grilled meat shop. You had to put meat on a grill, turn it over at the right time, then give it to people. That seems like very in the vein of Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the scootin' dude. Miss Moonblade Shinobi is a card I kind of always want. Especially when we have a Fairy Seer already. Ideally, Snowland comes back. Oh, Iceberg Cancrick is number two. This guy also does not have Defender, which is really cool in this format. How many Cancricks is too, is too many, you think? the inner world. I do enjoy pointing and clicking, which is really weird. Uh, snow covered, probably better than string. I'll take snow covered. Oh, I clicked on the first link. It says inner world, one mind, one energy. And it's like a really, it's like a weird new age site. Um, this is a deck I might even play Arkham's Astrolabe in. <clears throat> and it does let us splash something if we want to, which is nice. But it's just a snow permanent that, like, we have one, two, three, we have five snow lands already. Yeah, we can, we can play this. The inner world right now, the way I'm looking at the way, because the way, I'm looking at it right now, it looks a lot like Machinarium. It's got a very unique animation style. Ice Hide Golem. I don't think we want another wall. Maybe we just take the Ice Hide Golem. Oh my god. Look at this grilling game. Look at this. Look at this screenshot that Kerwit. Oh god, it's so small. View image. Oh yeah, it's really tiny. It was just zoomed in. Look at that. Beautiful. Get busy grilling. <clears throat> Mox Tantite. Tantite. Tantalite, not Tantite, but whatever. You don't care. I don't care. Nobody cares. I might just take the color of Snow Mountain. It lets us cast both of these, which I think is totally fine. Uh, answered prayers? I do like an answered prayers. 
Recruit the Worthy, not bad. What if they put a Snow Soldier into play? That'd be sweet, right? <laughs> you play a character with a flute for a nose and fight fascism. That's all I want in life. I want a flute-nosed fascist fighter. Uh, reprobation? Let's do a reprobation. Cast in reprobation. I like Rain of Revelation. We do a factor fiction. I'm just going to take the snow land because... Because snow lands. We also have two cards that require snow lands. And we have two cancrixes. And a chiller pillar. This, one, two, three, four, five. We have seven snow lands so far. Tan tight in the middle of our street. Tan tight. We're looking at snow and our keep. I don't know. This. I don't know how that song goes. Who is that? Who sings that? Who sings that song, guys? Eh, let's take Phantasmal Force. Can other people play your nose? It's, I feel like it's really stingy if you have a nose that's a flute, but you're the only one who gets to play it. Oh, if it isn't McGimpleson. McGimple? McSchmimple. I'll take it on the stream of thought. What? Definitely splashing this dude. Who passes this card? People who aren't in black blue, that's who. Wow. What? Jesus Jesus McGeezus. Oh house. In the middle of our street. Oh house. You can play anything with a flute for a nose. I have a flute for a nose. Can you play me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dear God. If we're splashing for Fallen Shinobi, we're just gonna splash for Mob too, right? I also do like Eye Kite because it lets us cast this Fallen Shinobi, but... Mob is solid, and we don't actually have that much removal right now. I'm going to take the mob. Fairy Seer? I, I'm down with Fairy Seer because we already have Fallen Shinobi. And we have Moonblade Shinobi. And it's Fairy Seer. <clears throat> oh, this guy's good. I don't think we need another Snow Covered Plains. We already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands we're probably playing. And we can. I bet one of these planes or, or islands is going to come back, so I'm not really super concerned with it. That me grilling came out of sequel where you how are you finding these things? That's actually hilarious that you're like. <laughs> Dear God, these games are fantastic. Hmm. I really want the rocks that are number two. But I also like the snow covered swamp because it's just a good land to have. I'm gonna take the snow covered swamp. Right? I would come cube draft the Unite for sure. I'm going to take the Rocks Veteran. I'm not an idiot. I mean, I am. I mean, I'm an idiot, but... Dead of Winter? This is an 8th pick Dead of Winter? You need to get out of here with that nonsense. This card is a bomb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If if with a one, if one of the snow covered islands comes back, some snow covered. Plan, if you started your flight now, you would make it. I like how I get to, I get to start my flight. Hey, did you start your flight yet? I did not. Uh, answered prayers is good.
Take out Scour. You're a three drop. You're a three drop, Hattie. Come on, I want that snow covered swamp to come back. I mean, we have double Cankirks, double Stream of Thought. I think we're actually pretty milly, but we also have a good, a good aggressive plan here, too. I don't have the money to do anything on MTG, and I don't have any LGSs or friends with them. Like, it's one of, oh, God. A very soft sheep. That sounds super sad, buddy. I'm really sorry to hear that. Did you say Millie Van Vanilli? I did not say Millie Vanilli. Did you? Did you say it? Segovian Angel's also not bad. I mean, it's just a way to, to fall in Shinobi. Also, this Astrolabe's nice here. <laughs> yeah, smart idea, actually. Especially if you don't have an efficient way to play. 15 creatures is good. I'm going to take the Stirring Address out. Probably going to play all of these. Two of these, and we'll just go 7-7, seven, seven, right? 1, 2, 3, 7, 4. This is just colorless, but it does cast these guys. I think this is actually totally fine. Because we have actually very few double blue and double white cards. We have two double white cards. And a lot of blue cards for the turn one, but... Millie Vanilli got a bad rap. Man, I hate dropping two ice permanents on turn one without a Cankerx, but that's life, man. In the middle of our street, our house, with my castle and my cape. Really wish you didn't get this song stuck in my head, but... Ooh. Astrolabe. This is way too many snow permanents, but that's all we have is snow permanents, so... <clears throat> Are we trading? Are we gonna trade a merry little Christmas? May your trades be wide. Oh, from now on, I traded my one drop for your two drop. Okay. Draw a card. Okay. Okay. Why didn't you play Fairy Seer first to scry and put the cards on the bottom? Because shut up, that's why. God. God. Stop being a little baby. Just to be clear, this would have been two, four, six, eight. This would have been ten cards in their graveyard. Wow. Ten cards, guys. For each creature type. So this is Human, Ninja, Illusion, Fairy, Wizard. That's five. So this guy costs two. So we can play Fairy, Wizard, and Valiant Changeling next turn. That's gas. That is the most gasoline thing I've ever seen. Um, Well, I do want another land eventually. Actually, we'll put Cancrix on top. Actually, I don't think we need Cankrix at this juncture. We're just going to put the land on top. White with this one. Valiant Changeling. Yeah, that's the thing about Arena. Like, I really love Arena. I think it's fantastic. But I just don't want to only play Standard and the most recent draft set. So, like, I can only do so much standard and most recent draft set, like, before I'm like, okay, I'm good. Look at that guy. What a beater. 
What an absolute beater. <clears throat> Play this guy right quick. Get my air boys in there. I mean, they have, we're dealing three a turn with the Ravenous Giants damage as well, so... Those old air boys are at it again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, no attacks? F -f 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 oh, Jesus. Oh, this game is over. Oh, God. This card is absolutely disgusting, and I don't blame anyone who concedes against it. Oh, God. Sometimes you just want to vomit because your guy is disgusting. Papercube is good times. Eh, we'll keep this hand. Oh boy. It's your dad. Do I care about that? Not really. So next turn we can do nothing. Hope we draw a Cancrix and we go Cancrix Snow Plains. I'll take two. Mistblade Shinobi. And by Mistblade, I mean Moonblade. Moonblade. Oh, we're just gonna do one of these jobbies. I am on. I am aware that they could play five four next turn or five five next turn. But and they, of course, they have it. Whew. <clears throat> Solid. I mean, ideally, we attack with this guy, we tap down this guy, they block here, or they don't block at all, and then we can draw a swamp, play Fallen Shinobi. Seems ideal. Or we can even hit Arkham's Astrolabe. Is that what it's called? So we can have three draws, two, two swamps and an Astrolabe are our options are our options. Interesting. So that's just like literally trade a mountain for a mountain and draw a card. I'll take five. It's not what we're looking for, unfortunately. Put that guy. Drop him down. Gonna make love to you, woman. I lay you down by the fire. Okay. Can't firebolt. 
You could Lava Dark twice. You could not Pyrohemia. You could Urza's Rage, I guess. Well, sometimes you just got Urza's Rage. We're going to take seven. I don't foresee us coming back from this, so. That was unfortunate. Like, this could have been a mistake, but if we put it on here, they're attacking for four anyway. Like, I don't know. I'm going to miss Changeling. We'll take out the Mountain and just add another Swamp. Keep. Fairy Seer is nice here. Any land we can play Shinobi, ideally it's a Swamp. But also take an Arkham's Astrolabe. Got to bottom both of these guys. See, that's helpful though. And now we uh, don't have to draw two non lands and begrudge the fact that we don't have lands. Thought I put you on the bottom, but all right. I guess we're hoping for a land here. <clears throat> we put two on the bottom, so that'd be what nine cards. Three and ten. Come on, one time. Thank you. You're beautiful. It's true. Attack for one. Play this guy too. And I don't know what to do. Let's see if they got ours as rage here. Oh, they have nothing here. Well, that's pretty brutal. That's probably going to be the game. Moonblade Shinobi is a card. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> Moonblade Shinobi is a card that's not extremely powerful, but it can take over a game. What do you think of the rise of Twiddlestorm in modern? Do you think it's better than you? I, I haven't even seen Twiddlestorm, and I will not be in GP Vegas. So I feel like I have bad answers for both of your questions, unfortunately. Twiddlestorm. That just sounds, that just sounds ridiculous. Do 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 Yesterday. Love was such an easy game to play. Now I know that Michael B's away. He went to work on Tuesday. Why Mike B had to go into work on his day off. He had mandatory overtime, so he went into work, Michael B. Boom, 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 boom. What's your go-to karaoke? Because I actually don't do karaoke. 
I have some some reason I have a problem with like singing in front of a bunch of people. I don't know. It's oh my god, it's so weird when I think about it though. I'll literally sit here and sing in front of you guys. I'll just make up these these nonsense songs. But then if I'm getting up in front of a bunch of strangers for karaoke, I feel weird about it. That's so weird. Wow, I just realized that right now. I think it's because they're strangers. <clears throat> like when I'm when I come here to you guys, you guys obviously have a certain level of knowledge about me, right? So and like you have expectations already. So you're like, Frank's a little funny, he's a little wacky sometimes. Um, you know, he he's he's a fan of surreal avant-garde comedy. So like You know, you guys, there's a certain expectation, but if I just go up to, I don't know, it feels weird because, like, no one knows me at a karaoke bar. So, like, I'm just an unknown quantity. I also don't drink enough to do karaoke because I don't drink at all. I sing nonstop. I'm just a constant singer. I'm only here because Grim and Sal told me to watch you. <laughs> That's a good enough reason, though. I accept that. Those guys are awesome. I'm pretty sure they're also the same person, but those guys are awesome. You ever seen them both of them in the same place at the same time? Oh, what's that? All the time? Alright, well, that throws that theory out. So, I'm looking for some of this, um... This Trident Z Neo. It's a new, it's a new memory for the X, uh, for the X7, the X570 boards. And I'm on I'm on Newegg, right? And I'm looking for it, so I'm googling this, and I'm like, let's let's look at let's see let's see what Trident Z Neos you have in stock. Every single one of them is sold out. They're all out of stock, and I'm like, all right, that seems cool. I probably was the only person streaming Cube. That's hilarious. Even though the Cube fires like instantaneously, and there's always people in there. The problem is, and here I'll I'll emphasize this for you guys. The problem is, everyone who plays the MPL, all the MPL members, um, they are f required to play Arena. So you have all these like top tier professional Magic players, um, which you'd probably love to see play the Cube because it's super fun, but they have to play Arena because that's, I, I assume, that's their contract. Because, you know, part of their goal as being members of the MPL is to promote Arena. So, it's this weird situation where, like, maybe you want to play something on Magic Online, like Modern, but you don't really get the option. Oh, yesterday. Huh. This is surprisingly cheap for, uh, 14 latency. Hmm. I'd prefer 3600 though. Like if I'm going all out, I'd rather have the 3600. What can we do with that? I also do like I'm gonna be honest with you. I like the RGB. Everything else is RGB for me. So I feel like if I if my if I don't get the Trident, if I don't get the G skill RGB, I'm gonna feel bad about it later. I wasn't RGB, right? But I feel like everything is now, and I don't hate it, which means I kind of like it. So I'm kind of like. All right, I might as well just make everything RGB so it just matches. Have you listened to the Nickelback album? They have a great song about nostalgia and looking back at photographs. I haven't, actually. Okay, so we're just playing the same guy. We're just playing the same guy that we just played. Uh, I'm probably looking for two 8 gigabyte, uh, four 8 gigabyte sticks is what I have right now. 32, 32 gigabytes is what I'm, what I'm using currently. And I think that's still probably going to be fine. But because I do a lot of streaming and Magic Online and like other games, like I want to make sure I have a lot of, a lot of headway there. Yesterday, treetop ambusher was far away. 
Now I know what I'm stupid do 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 scoo do do. Oh, da, da, da. RGB is RGB light up. Uh, RGB is red. It stands for red, green, blue, obviously. But uh, RGB means that yeah, you can adjust the color. There's like a million colors that you can adjust it to, and uh, your stuff changes color basically. It's pretty. It's it's pretty sick. I'm gonna be honest. Like I thought it was goofy and like and gimmicky at first, but like it really looks good. It gives it a really nice look. You can make it all red, all blue. You can make it alternate so that it kind of flows from like red to blue to green, you know, whatever, but yesterday Michael B was working overtime he lives in the garbage can oh Michael B is in the garbage can look at that can cricks do I really want a can cricks here or just want a chiller pillar ch -ch 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 yeah, this is rough. See, then you get these starts, and I'm like, oh, I just can't compete with this. And now I have to draw two two planes. One plane, so you can probably go reprobation. The game's on Twitch. What's going on? Can you make it go from eggshell white to seashell white? I think so. I have no idea. Probably, yeah. Why is he had to go? I don't no, no. I t <laughs> yeah dude I saw the Trident Sea Royals comically enough and I was like mm, you know not for me alright so this match this game was not this, this game did not go as well he said well I have to have a play before I have a play before turn 4 which seems to be important against you and I'm like I did not. Oh, I literally couldn't tell if you were trolling or not because I saw the Royals and I was like, wow. But I mean, like, 32 gigabytes for 184. The, the latency is a little high, though. 19 latency is a little high for me. Is... Scry really that much more powerful than One Life? Yes. Oh God, yes. Yes. The Scry on the lands is insane. The 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 temples were a card that when they first were introduced, everyone was like, "Well, that's not. That seems kind of. It seems kind of meh." Uh, and then as soon as people played with them, every deck had like four to six temples in them because they were that good. People were playing, like the red decks were just playing off color temples, like like temple of a uh, temple of abandon, like whatever the red green one is or the red white one, without any green cards, just so you could have the scry. Because in the late game, having a land that just lets you scry and and mitigates a draw is just so insane. Oh geez, this hand is good. I mean, we're definitely gonna cycle this guy. Hi, Bob. I don't want what? With Ryzen. Oh, correct. Correct. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, you know, let me tell you something about... Let me tell you about something about slow memory. Not great, Bob. Okay, wow, two swamps, huh? Snow covered. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Snow covered something. Give me a snow covered something. Oh, I don't even want this can, Kriggs. I don't even want it. Ugh, I really don't want it. But maybe it's okay. We're gonna get to scry again. I'll keep both of these. I think our hand is good enough that can survive that. Oh, 
Hold on. I'm responding to Kerwit. Had to go, I don't know, she wouldn't say. Muggle, but what? <laughs> Why is yesterday stuck in my head? You know what time it is. Is that Bogarden guy? Which book? Oh, the no, the two, two for three. <laughs> in the future, you'll be able to eat whatever you want. Then teleporters will replace the food in your stomach with nutritious food. I think that's true, actually. That makes a lot of sense. I feel that. Oh, it's Icy Boy. Maybe we shouldn't have kept that. I kind of like Mob. We can go we can go fairy seer, tap everything, mob this guy, and then attack for another one. Let's do that. Oh. Um This is another situation we're just gonna keep that on top. This is not the best use of mob for sure. But it does allow us to get in there with this guy again. Uh which should be pretty good. Now I know that we are here to stay. Oh, uh, whoop. Get out of here, Windows 10. Uh, attack this guy. Kapow. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Iceberg Canny Canny Boy Land Milia. Yes. Play Astrolabe. Draw a crad. Always yes. Yes. Dead of Schminter. Is this ice till snow permanent? So one, two, three. Well, that kills everything. That's pretty bad. Dead of winter is pretty bad here, but it saves us in the long run. You know, things get out of hand. Games on Twitch. What I'm looking at is the uh, the Trident Z Neo. Wow, there's a lot of trumpeting herds. I think we just actually have to keep a. Uh...
I mean, this is actually a win if we play Chiller Pillar and they don't have an answer for it, right? Because we get to pump this guy next turn and then it's five, like a million. I'll just chump block here. One more round. I'm tempted to smoke shroud. Like, like we know they don't have very good answers against. Like smoke shroud, even on the ice hide golem is pretty good. Maybe we're just bringing smoky shroud. Smoky McShrouderson. I guess you. What did you have? You considered not losing to a two headed giant? I have considered it. I have no idea. Like, check this out. I, I showed this earlier in the chat, but this is the link I look. I was like, let me look at. Let me see what what new egg has in stock. And then it's like, oh wow, literally everyone is out of stock. That's really sad. And then I cried. Oh, is Bitcoin spiking again? Really? It's been going down for me. Yeah, it's been going down. Like, I think you're making stuff up, Christopher. Unless by spiking you mean falling. Let me check something here. Pop this guy open, make sure you're not on the thing. Pop you back up. Okay. Uh, yeah, this sounds great. He's going to think it's a fairy, but it's really going to be a golem. Joke's on you. Um, that's why yeah, I'll just pass here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Woo. Yeah, I'd rather go 14 latency. Uh, I'd rather go CL14 and also 30, 3,400 or 3,600, 3,600. Like, just because I'm only going to buy it once, right? Like, if I'm spending the money on memory once, I'd rather just have the the best of the best. This is too many, too many of these guys. Man, the problem here is that this guy doesn't do anything for us. There's no way they don't block, right? <laughs> can I get through? Can I get through? Can I, can I get through? Didn't, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Yeah, so like the goal is 3,600 30, and, and CL 14. No, games on Twitch. Don't even worry about it. I appreciate all the help for sure. Yeah, no, no apology needed, man. Oh, what? What? What have you done? So 
bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, the 559 is unfortunately the one I would prefer. It's a cringy price, but like, I mean, I'm going to buy it like once. Oh my god, Chris, this this uh this cl this clip is classic. Oh wait, this is right now. I thought this was the one where I, like, couldn't speak. Do you remember that one? That was a good one. Well, the thing is, if I'm spending 370 on RAM, I might as well just spend 500 on RAM. Like, I, I might as well spend the extra 130 and, like, not have to worry about it. And then I'll be like, man, should I spend... Like, just, It's just like, I'd rather... I'm a, I'm a big advocate of buying the, the best thing once instead of buying, like, lesser versions of things 10 times. You know what I mean? So, like, I often spend more money on the things I really enjoy or the things I really, really use a lot because I'd rather get value out of them. Oh, man, look at this. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. How did we do last time with a single elimination draft? We won it. We went a big fat 3-0. This fairy here is like your literally worst, your literal worst enemy. I'm gonna put both of these on the bottom. It's risky, but we have no black cards. There are two black cards in our deck, and our... yes, <laughs> this is the one. Oh man, ogle, ogle the bogle or ogle, ogle the boggle or go goggle the. Bo it's it's goggle. <laughs> Wow. This isn't Google the Boogle. Boggle. Bo oh, fucking God. Damn. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm absolutely done. I broke my brain. Wow, that clip is still... That, 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 that clip still holds up. Oh, man. We just won again? I would like to scale up your guy, but I can't. <laughs> Dang it. All right, well, I'm going to try not to play the same person a third time. Oh, let's check out this one. Ophinity is like a clip master. How many black, black blade, blade back sliver, slivers? <laughs> Boy, they say that five times fast. <laughs> How many blade black, blade black, babe? Okay. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, boy. These are solid How many clips, man. Back slivers, do you need for it to be very good? My favorite part is the fact that I literally tried to pronounce it and I couldn't. I was like, "Well, this isn't even." I don't, I don't spending good money on you because I use you. I, I don't spending good. This is barely English, Phil. This is barely English. Either way, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it because <laughs> I use you so much. Nice. I like it. That's topical. I really want to get out of this queue so we don't play Waldorf a third time. Can you imagine if this Modern Horizons draft is literally just playing Waldorf three times in a row? You. I'm talking. I'm talking to Kerwit about because I'm gonna have to reformat once I get the processor and the motherboard and whatnot. So I'm talking to Kerwit about like how I can reinstall Windows 10 because I'm pretty sure in the past, previously, uh, the way I've reinstalled Windows 10 was to reinstall Windows 7 and then you upgrade it for free. Because I don't actually. I don't think I have a copy of Windows 10. I think I have a, a verif like a uh, a retail copy of Windows 7 and I would install Windows 7.
and then I would just upgrade it. I also don't inglets. Okay, it's Dr. Phil. Okay. This hand's pretty bad. I mean, it's got three lands and four cards, but we can't do anything. I'm going to ship it. Are you swapping out boot drives? No. No, my boot drive is going to be the same, but it's going to be a new motherboard and a new processor. So, like, I mean, there's going to be new chipsets. There's going to be new, like, all of the motherboard drivers are going to be different. So, I'm just like... No, I know I know how to do I know how to do it. I, I can put it on a drive. I'm saying I don't have a Windows 10 key though, and I'm not sure if I need one. Because I've never had a Windows 10 key before. I would have a Windows 7 key, so I'd have an authentic copy of Windows 7. And then I would just When you sign into Windows it's linked to your account, I think that's what Kerwit and I just figured out. Let's choose planes. The thing is, like, we're going to have to hit other colored mana anyway. Three planes doesn't do anything for this hand. When you reinstall, you sign back into your account. It'll ask you if you have a key link to it. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. So I guess I should. Or I might have to go to my Microsoft account and attach a key to it. That would be the other option. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking. Okay. Well. Dr. Phil, you mean Waldorf in disguise? Maybe. Oh, dang. Maybe. Okay. Okay. I mean, they have no pressure on us, so next time we can just go Factor Fiction, maybe try to hit a Black Source. Or I guess we can just go Chiller Pillar. Oh, interesting. Big Chills! You gonna counter this? Oh god, I think a Spell Snuff it? That doesn't seem good at all. God, every time someone plays Spell Snuff against me, I'm just like... But why? Thank you. Snarky Sar Sarah, thank you so much for the... Hmm. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Can I get that snow-covered swamp? I don't have that. Joke's on you. All right, so we're just going to factor fiction here. We'll take two, three, I guess. But, but, but butterfree I'm okay, Dad. I mean, I'm hoping for Astrolabe, because Astrolabe gives us four snow permanents, which would kill everything. Oh, it's a Pondering Mage. They also have six cards in hand still, which is a lot. This was a two for one, this is a two for one, this is a two for one, so. Ooh, split them up. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to play Legacy Cube. It's single elimination, which I don't actually find that fun. I mean, we happened to win yesterday, but. It's a lot of waiting. It's a lot of like. Anxiety at losing the first round, then anxiety at losing the second round. Ugh, God. I mean, maybe. Is 16 gigabytes of RAM even enough? I, I have 32. 32 is my go-to for a while, so... It's interesting that there were no lands in these piles.
Oh yeah, choose pile two for sure. That doesn't even seem close. Hmm. Oh, Astrolabe. Well, now I don't want to play anything. Um, put you on top. Yeah, we'll just put both on top. That seems great. We're going to Astrolabe for four, so I really have no incentive to put anything else on the battlefield. I remember at 512 megabytes of RAM when I was the coolest kid on the block. Chris, you're still the coolest kid on the block. That was not RAM dependent, my friend. Uh, because we're going to Dead of Winter next turn for four. So I don't want to... I have no interest in putting a creature that I'm just going to die. Oh, it's non-snow cards? Well, biscuits. Non-snow creatures. See? This is, this is why magic's hard. That's why we... That's... Yeah, we should have... Yep. Oh, dang it. You son of a biscuit. Okay, so... I we also didn't play an island, which is weird. So, we're going to go... Cancrix. Astrolabe. Always yes, always yield. I have no incentive not to. Draw a card. Uh, Dead of Winter. One, two, three. Black. Force of negation. No force of negation. Well, that seems good. You know, friendships are based on... <laughs> hey, buddy, listen. Would I lie to you about that? You were the friend that clipped me having a stroke and speaking in tongues. Is it just a crab? So this guy costs six. Friends don't let friends speak in tongues. I appreciate you catching me, man. Catch me speaking in tongues. How about that? Um, yes. I could definitely show you. I actually showed the parts earlier, but I could do it again. We can do it again. Uh, this is the motherboard we're going with. You can do whatever you like. And, oh god, I don't know what that did. Oh god, what's happening? And... This is the processor we're going with. Do people call do people call CPUs processors still? I feel like it's just not a not a common term anymore. They just call them CPUs. I'm like, I just call them processors. That feels old school, but I don't know. Here's my processor. What's your processor? Do people still call them that? I don't even know, man. Oh, Pondering Man Genurza, because you name humans. That's real good. That's real good. I'm impressed. Here's the chip I'm going with. Uh, one, two, three, four. Play this guy. Play this guy. You can do whatever you like. Ransack the lab, huh? Interesting. Chip processing unit. <laughs> That's my stomach.
Still drafting? Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Good times. Oh, uh, my GPU. I can find it. Hold on. GPU has not been updated, but it's still, I mean, it's still good. That's the GPU. I already got a new monitor. I got a Samsung, the Samsung CRG9. Uh, I don't think we're actually attacking. Actually, maybe we are attacking with this guy, right? Like, if they double block here, we get to kill both. And this guy, so they have to double block with, like, everything. And then we can kill Urza and a Jellyfish, which actually seems good. Oh, yeah, the card is totally fine. I do have a Samsung Flicker. Oh, man, it's so frustrating, dude. No, not a new monitor since then. It's the same one. But I called Samsung today, and they were like, we'll have a technician come out. and a full Well, a technician's going to call you in a few days. And I'm like, a technician? Wow. All right, man. Come on over and take a look at it, I guess. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. <laughs> what, are you sit around playing card games all day? Well, yeah. I'm kind of a loser. A CPU is a neural net processor. It's a learning computer. Wow, I didn't realize you were at 11 already. Games on Twitch. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. We'll take it easy. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five. One, three, four, five. Make this guy float. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. So, I can attack with this guy. One, two, three. One, two. And then smash with Moonblade Shinobi, right? So I'm still doing like six. I can do first strike damage, then regular strike damage. Let's do this. Let's see how this works. They have six cards in their hand? Good lord, why? Okay, so. Not today. So we're in damage now. Have we done regular strike damage? So I can still Moonblade Shinobi and, and bring this back, right? Is that what we want to do? Probably. Alternatively, we can just take one and play rocks. Eh, we're just going to take it. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. Always yes. A Junker 6 tier at Samsung that was the cheapest of what she want for what she wanted. I actually I don't I um by by frame rate you mean refresh rate, right? I think it probably does help. Everything's smoother, so you know, like you do. 
Okay, so we're at one. I don't think there's a black or a... I guess they can smiting helix us. Cool. <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, God. I have like, like a little... It's like two uncommons that could actually deal deal actual damage to us there. Well, I had one of them. <laughs> I guess you did. I guess you did. And Marcellus Wallace don't like black cards that deal damage by anybody but Mrs. Wallace. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Jashims. I'll keep this hand, and we're going to go Cancrix into Swamplands for days. What the hell is a Swampland? Snowlands, guys. Don't get it twisted, okay? Okay? Yeah, we've been chatting about PC building. Don't you live in Florida? You know what a swamp... That's true, I do know what a swamp land is. Lesser smash, smash decor. Okay, so we're going to go up, up top. Always yes, always yield. Oh man, two rares. Fantastic. Suck on them eggs. Oh boy, we're living the dream, guys. Mind rake? We're making me discard? Get out of here. Got any bombs? Yeah, you're looking at them. They're right here. Dr. Phil. Are you going to... Uh, okay. I don't know why you'd wait to do that, but, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. What do we have here? I don't really want either of these. Actually, the bottom of this will keep the planes because it gives us a second white source and we can also just cast Avon soon. I know I sent over that ninja list because I'll be honest, it seemed real bad, but I've been pondering doing a vampire list for modern. Yes, do that. That seems awesome. Mr. Krabs, no! Wow, they're just killing. Wow, they're. Yikes. Aggressive. Very aggressive. They do hate crabs. It's real sad. Josh, that is totally up to you. I can't make these decisions. It's all over but the crying.
Get in there. Birdman. I think we're going to lose this round, but their deck seems very, very good. We did mill a bunch of their best cards, though. But still. Uh, no blocks. I'll take three. Big chili pea. Jellyfish. Seems good. Five, seven. Yeah, like we're just doing, we have like three here. Five, because I added the two earlier. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. The problem is we're so close to this. If they can get rid of a blocker, we get to go one, two, and then take two, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're actually alive. If we can draw a land, we actually get to mill them for 12. They go to one card. And then then we die. One, two, three. We need one, two, we need five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have enough blue. That'd be a sick win, though. It's all over but the crying. Sure. I was really hoping they'd scour all possibilities there. I really wanted them to draw a card. <laughs> mm, block you. Nope. Block you, block you, go to one. <laughs> so funny. Four, eight, twelve. They're going to draw one card for their turn. So funny. They get to win again with one card in hand. Had to have Crip Rats last game. Literally had to have one card in their library. What can you do? 
They had mirrored and besieged and spell snuff in their deck. Ugh, gross. Four, three astrolabes. Yikes. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on CoolStuffInc.com. I have articles going up every Wednesday. Leave comments in those articles. It helps me out. It's the least you guys can do if you guys want to support the channel and the content I create. And check out ManaTraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You can find all the links and the promo codes in the description down below. So definitely check those out. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to slam those like and those subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.